<laughs> Welcome back. Okay. Great, great, great. Right at the beginning of going live, JLC <laughs> Hall. Um, so welcome back, everyone. This is the PlayStation MVP Cast, episode 28. I am Michael Vash, 7086. Um, hopefully you got to check out our interview with Tommy Tallarico a bit earlier. That's why our uh, cast is starting a bit late now. But uh, if you did not, there will be an archive up, and I'll try to remember to put that in the thread. But tonight I am joined by the JLC. Hey. As you just heard a few minutes ago. And the one writer. The Walking Dead Season 2. I thought you were going to say Tommy Tallarico today, but that works. Or Grand Theft Auto 5. Tommy Tallarico. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5, something like that. <laughs> but um, So tonight we do have uh, a couple of things planned. I think this will be a little bit quicker just because we are running so late. Um, yep. So uh, tonight for highlights of the show, we have Walmart customers, um, $90 PS4 scam. There's another Tony Hawk game coming next year. Awesome. And a hacking group says they uh, got some data from the PSN. And we'll, we'll talk about that more in detail, so don't freak out. So uh, video tonight, we're going to start with uh, some Far Cry 4. And then it should move on, if I've set this up right, to some Drive Club. At um, oh, GTA 5 today? No, I just haven't had time. So we'll get into that in just a minute. But uh, we'll go we'll go right into what have you been doing? So uh, JLC, what have you been doing? Uh, I've been playing Better for Four, Grand Theft Auto Five, and I just came back from taking a polygraph test. Wow. Oh. Wow. So did did they ask you if you were on any podcast? Uh no. Oh. I don't think they care. Should have. You should have. <laughs> should have had them ask you that. That's that's about it, huh? Nothing, nothing else new? No, everything's the same. <laughs> Just a lie detector test. Okay, fun, yep. fun. You know, as long as you didn't have to take attack. What about you, Ryder? Uh, I got uh, I finally planned on Wolfenstein, like GLC. Yes. And um, I, I think uh, JLC got that platinum it. just a little bit quicker than you did. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I got it like a few days after him. Um, it was a very good game, by the way. Um, yeah, it is. Make sure you pick it up on Black Friday. Um, How much is it on Black Friday? It's going to be 25 bucks, I believe. Best so, Buy? 20, 25 bucks. So, okay. yeah, around, around Best Buy or Walmart. So it's going to be really cheap for anybody who wants a good single-player shooter. If I can get it on the internet and have them hold it there then I probably will. I just don't want to go out Friday. I got it for 20 on Amazon, so... Yeah, Ooh, I, and I really prices. thought about jumping on that deal, but I, <laughs> I didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. Pun intended, yes. And then, and then currently I'm playing uh, The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, episode 2 so far was really good. So I'm going to continue playing that until... I don't know. How close are you to the end? I beat it. Um, there's five episodes, so I just finished episode two, so I'm right. uh, jumping on episode three, so it takes about mm, two hours per episode. So cool. Probably won't touch until touch GT until uh, by Friday. That's okay. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, for me, so, um, like I said, we just did the Thomas Hallerico interview earlier. Um, that was actually really good. He's I've interviewed him before. He's he's entertaining. He has a lot of stories, and um, he has a lot of interesting stuff. Um, you know, I actually got to bring up console wars in the interview, and um, he seemed to know what I was talking about. So that's a good that's a good thing. I, I it's uh, he's constantly going on tour for Video Games Live, so it's cool that he actually uh, seemed to recognize the book. That was that was really cool. And um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to hear some of his his older stories because of just the way like he got in the video games industry and all that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I will be putting a, a link in the thread, or you can find it on uh, hitbox.tv uh, slash psmvpcast. We uh, will have it in the video section there as well. So just uh, feel free to check it out. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of good stories and uh, and interesting stuff with video games live and and all that type of stuff. But um, beyond that, uh, I last week was of course. Gaming Apocalypse, um, GTA 5, Far Cry 4, um, and then uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, and that was just Tuesday. And then, of course, on Friday, Smash Brothers came out, and so I played a, a decent bit of that as well. Um, 
but yeah, I did get to play some um, some Far Cry Four and GTA Online. I did not get the chance to dig into uh, to Dragon Age as much, but um, yeah, I, it's you... cool. The uh, GTA Online, I actually have uh, you know the, a million bucks right now, so I'm trying to decide what I want to kind of partial that out into. Uh, I'm gonna probably get a you know an apartment or whatever, and then I'll probably have to find a, a good car or something like that. Yep. Money flies, you know. You in GTA Online, as soon as you get money and you buy something, you you're poor again, and then it takes a while to make that money legitly, or well, almost everybody is legit, but it takes a while to make up that money again in order to buy something better or something new. Yeah. But well, I was yeah. hearing something about like you could do challenges and use some kind of thing where you like risk two hundred fifty thousand dollars on a challenge and you make it back as long as you do the challenge enough time. Otherwise, yeah. I cry for a little while. But um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I want to mess with that or not. Because I think, you know, I think that'll go a little ways. I did I did notice the prices were a little steep on some of the stuff, though. Yeah, it's mostly because, you know, there's also cash cards you could buy with yep, real exactly. money. Exactly. <laughs> I, I also got really annoyed at the beginning there. You have to you know, find your car, and there's so many that are premium. So yeah. finally, I had to, like, I really wanted the Mustang lookalike. And so I kept looking and looking and looking, and I, f- I found one. And then, of course, the cops saw me and kill me before I can even take the car to where I need to go. And then finally, mercifully, I found one and actually was able to, you know, to get it to where I, I needed to go and get that all done. So that was that was great to finally have that done. It, it- it's an interesting intro to uh, to multiplayer, though. You know, in you know, in order to start, you need to find a car, steal a car, and make it your own. It's it's a pretty good intro. <laughs> yeah, um, but like I say, it's kind of. I wish they would give you a bit better. I don't know. I I feel like it's a little um, overwhelming for people that you know really want to make the best choice, just because. You know, they just got in the game. They don't really know if the cars play the same as they do in single player and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a lot to put on a, a person that quickly. But uh, I know after that, it gets it gets to go in more fun. Yeah. So, how, you, um, how are you finding Far Cry 4? That's what I was about to ask. I think you were about to about to ask that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm liking Far Cry 4 so far. Uh, they have uh, they've streamlined some stuff. Like you no longer have to go in and craft all of your uh, all of your syringes. They just auto craft now, and so okay. that's kind of cool. So you don't have to you know go in and manage that. The um, you know the other crafting for animal skins and stuff like that that's still managed manually. Um, you don't get a notification though. I don't I don't seem to see one at least. So you just need to make sure you check your your menu menu and uh, you know go in there and do that. Same with, uh, they do give you notifications on the skill points, and it's kind of up at the top. Um, I actually did share play a little bit of it with uh, Ryder, and he uh, he seemed to like it. He Ooh. liked the fur physics, I believe, right? Those fur physics. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they've, they've done some interesting things. The grappling hook is really cool. The uh, Of course, you've got the, the uh, what is it, the wingsuit. You get that all, you can buy that really early in the game. And so you don't have to play, you know, the majority of the game without it this time around. And um, they also, what was the other thing I was going to say? They also, oh, so if you actually use like, uh, one, of the, one of the new weapons is throwing knives. If you actually use those or you use a bow or if you, I think if you melee an animal, you actually get um, double the amount of, uh, you know, hide. And then I think you also get bait, which you can use to attract predators. Um, so, you know, if you've got this um, outpost or whatnot, you can definitely, you know, toss some bait in there and see if you can attract a, uh, a predator to help you on the attack. Of course, you got to watch out. They don't decide that you're the one they want to attack as well. Cool. Cool. But, hey, uh, Gr- Gray is here. Gray is here. Gray has joined us after all. We had invited him, but he, he said he was too cool, I thought, so... Yeah, we thought, you know, <laughs> too busy to join us, you know. He had something more important. <laughs> yeah, like Platinum in a game like Chelsea? Oh, yeah, you know, Platinum, what, uh, Hannah Montana? That's, that's what you usually do, dude. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? No, no, I don't. <laughs> uh-huh. I've seen your trophy list. It's nah. as full as embarrassment, man. <laughs> that's why you keep on wanting that delete feature, I know. <laughs> hey, that that feature exists on 
uh, Vita, just so people don't know. Well, you can't delete it, but you can hide certain trophies <laughs> from a period on your list. That's so random that it's on yeah. Vita and it's on nothing else. Nothing else, yeah. So I I hit, I think, NHL 13, I believe, because I played it and I never actually got any trophies because I never kept the game. I you know, and, and I had a 0%, so I just took that off my list um, because I had a Vita. <laughs> Yeah, the um, that that's that's pretty random. I did not know that. Yeah. Gray, did you make it? He hadn't actually spoke yet, so I'm I'm just wondering. Gray, where are you? <laughs> well, he's probably still messing with his mic, so he can jump on anytime. Yeah. Yep. But um, so let's let's get into the drop. We got a oh, and so. The setup is a little ghetto tonight because my PC decided that the power supply was going to stop uh, using its fan. So that, luckily, that is a ten-year warranty on that that bad boy. So uh, I'm just That's waiting for a replacement right now. As long as it doesn't overheat and explode. Exactly. Well, good. it turned off because it was about to overheat and explode. Oh, and okay. um, you know, I've I've had one of those. Um, what did it do? When I was trying to get this thing running, um. I actually had, I actually had the cables on something start to smoke, and I'm like, oh crap! So <laughs> be careful. You was, want your house to burn I'm down. Like, because my case has LEDs in it, and I, like, I was yeah. looking in there, and I'm like, I don't have orange LEDs, and then I'm like, oh, that's that's wires. <laughs> Turn it off, and uh, <laughs> you know, get all that taken out. And so I had to, I had to swap it out once before, but, but yeah, I, I thought that was uh, that was pretty crazy. I thought I burned out my PS4 today. <laughs> the power the power went out because I guess the wind is too strong right now. So the you know power cables outside are going back and forth. So the power went out for a few seconds. PS4 shut off. I turned it back on, and you know how it does that restore database thing. Mm-hmm. It was at like 20 percent, and power went back out. When I turned it on, it didn't want to start at all. And oh wow. It kept going to safe mode, and everything I put error that there was no hard drive installed. There was no hard drive on the PS4. I'm like, uh, I better not have burned out the damn hard drive. <laughs> Turns out it, I, I, I was, you know, you know, panicking, looking online, everything, and I actually got it to work. I'm like, oh man, I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck if that fried your hard drive. Yeah, exactly. All right, so so let's go into the drop now that our our tech drama is is discussed and um starting off this week we have a keepish trip undead and undressed this is the ps4 release i believe it's already been out on the vita and ps3 aqua kitty milk mine defender dx is on ps4 and vita that is jlc's game (laughs) no it is isn't spider's game i actually i think it's gray's game since he's not here to actually defend himself yet and he's all quiet (laughs) No, <laughs> trying to help him out right now. <laughs> Boxing is a PlayStation One classic. Hey, he just better hope there's nothing else embarrassing here that he's going to be picking up. <laughs> Geometry Wars Three Dimensions is on PS4 and PS3. That's kind of a stealth release. Like I heard a lot about that, of course, when they announced it, but then like I haven't heard they much since really, then. Yeah, yeah, they never really announced uh, a, a date and stuff. So it comes out this week. Yep. Wow. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was like, oh, yeah, we have this cool game coming out. It's coming out later this year. And then, like, it went dark. And then uh, Jetpack Joyride Deluxe. Um, I, like, I actually, that's one of the few mobile games I'll play, but I just don't know that I really, like, I think it actually costs money on PS3 uh, and... Uh, Vita, so I'm not sure if you if you if it actually does cost money, I'm not sure why you'd want to buy it. Um, unless you get, unless it's different in the game, like uh, they have a very then uh, they have microtransactions and all that in the game. It's not necessary, but it's mainly for people that want to speed things up. Uh, we also have Pocket RPG on the Vita and Speakeasy on PS4. Um, which is apparently, uh, 
looks it says it looks like a fighter but it's about matching wits so i'm curious about that one actually haven't heard much about it thomas was alone hits ps4 and that of course is pros so if you already have the title pretty sure it was a uh, ps plus title at some point or another and yeah you're all set there and so demos we have lego batman 3 beyond gotham on ps3 and we have guilty Gear gear um XRD, I'm guessing that's supposed to be third or yerd or something like that. Third sign, PS Plus demo on PS4. So, um, that will refrain from reaching a certain other game with the demo for PS Plus. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm actually looking forward to um, to trying out the Guilty Gear uh, PS4 game. It look, uh, looks like an interesting one, though uh, very technical, definitely. Uh, pretty underwhelming, my my opinion. But uh, well, I mean, they last did look week was though. like every game known to man almost was hitting on <laughs> yeah. Tuesday, and then I you had understand. more on Friday. Oh yeah, I can understand. After that week, everybody's probably like, nope. Uh, maybe next month. I'm just surprised that so many games stuck to that date because I felt like you know they would you know delay a week or try to release a week early because um yeah. You know, it, it was kind of weird because, I mean, like, you had the 11th and you had Halo and Assassin's Creed, and that was kind of, you know, kind of it for last week, or the week before, rather. And then last week you had, like, everything release. It was yep. very strange. A lot of people went poor that day. Yeah, I yeah, I can't. I might. Go ahead. I'm looking forward to Thomas' Was Alone since it's a cross-buy title. Yeah. That's uh, that's this one I might check out. Um so yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I'll get guilt, uh, gem shores, brother. I don't know for sure, but maybe. And like I say, speakeasy could be cool. It's it's hard for me to tell because I've never heard of the game before, and so that's kind of makes me weary, wary, rather. So, hmm, we'll see. But um, we also have the list of stuff coming out in the next month. Hopefully, this will be short. So, December 2014 games. Um, Battlefield 4 Final Stand will release for uh, for normal players. Uh, it's already out for the uh, premium. Yep. Chivalry Med- Medieval Warfare on PS3. Um, which is... It's a fun game. Uh, I just don't know why they're bringing it to PS3. But whatever. Fantasy Hero Unsigned Legacy. Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. Secret Ponchos hits uh, PS4. And that is uh, also a uh, PS Plus title, obviously. The Crew hits PS4. And Destiny the Dark Below. Juju Juju hits hits PS3. Somebody's Somebody's got an echo. Got an echo. And Laura Croft in the Temple of Osiris hits PS4. It looks like it's a next-gen only title, actually. There you go, Ryder. Another reason to consider that game is next-gen only. Ooh. And then Guilty Gear, Gear, I guess that's third sign, on PS4, PS3, um, December 16th. So that's uh, a decent month. It's not uh, December is usually kind of a down month after November anyway, but, I mean, you've got a couple things there that... Uh, Definitely something to look into, you know, Kingdom Hearts and uh, Chivalry if you're still playing PS3. And I guess the crew if you're really into racers and uh, weren't sold on Drive Club or want something open world on PlayStation. Then possibly Laura Croft about it. I'm not sure about that one either way. And then Guilty Gear will be great for uh, for the fighter fans. <coughs> Yeah, I'm not looking to buy anything that month, probably. I still could be... I'm going to be busy playing the, these games right now. You probably haven't even bought everything from last week, did you? Uh, I'll be buying them over there during that time. Exactly. <laughs> Especially Black Friday and all that. Yeah, yeah I don't know that Friday's going to have a lot of games. Be, I don't know if those are going to be in sale. They're really, like, not super sales or anything. Um, I might actually finally pick up... Uh, uh, was it... The... Sleeping dogs? Yeah, no, no, sleeping dogs. Um, the the big the big title from March May time frame. I'm blanking right now. Um, Watch dogs. Oh, uh, that was. Uh, Watch dogs. 
Because it's going to be five $30. Mm -hmm. All right, I think you got this fixed. Hey, Greg. Okay. You're the guy with the echo. Yes, yes. That was my headset. That was, like, really, really loud for no reason. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he still has an yeah, echo, though. It's like everything... Probably the acoustics in my room. Probably. Oh, okay. When you talk, we don't hear an echo, talk, but when you stop echo, talking, stop talking, we hear the echo. Yeah, now I can hear it. Now I can hear it. Yeah. You probably have your sound coming out of your speakers. Yeah. It's feeding back. Sound coming out of your speakers. It's feeding back. Really? Try uh, muting the mic. Try uh, muting the mic. And then unmute it when... Uh, well, I have talking. my... Uh... <laughs> I have that crappy earbud that came with the PS4 plugged into my phone, and I'm using my phone, so. Ah. Huh. Okay. Ah. Thank you, Thank you, that's the best. Uh, that's the best solution I got because apparently I'm technologically uninclined. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Technologically uh, impaired. Yes, in, yeah, I'm impaired. I'm an invalid. I think was that. A, oh, oh, that. I remember what song that was now. That's Weird Al Yankovic again. But, uh, but, uh, but yeah, so a hacker group. Uh, oh, first up, actually. So what are you guys picking up during uh, Black Friday, Gray Thursday? Gray Thursday. Gray Thursday. I'm picking up a new TV. Wow, that's that's it. Wow. Wow, that, that's it. Wow. That's that's about it. That's like my fourth TV though. DLC, Ryder? DLC, Ryder? Um, I'm not sure yet. I, oh, I still haven't I'm looked at the sure deals yet. yet. I still haven't looked at the so I, probably on Thursday I'm going to be looking at all those prices, uh, all those deals, and probably get a maybe a TV. I'm thinking of getting a TV as well. And probably a few games. Uh, <clears throat> well, during Black Friday I'm going to be buying a couple presents for my family and all. But for myself, I am going to be picking up, um, like I said, Watch Dogs, and uh, I don't know. I think that's the only one I'm actually keeping my own. Yeah, for me, um, I'm not sure there's anything that really stands out. I'm going to be looking over some of the stuff, but... Uh, I'm not going anywhere, not so if I can't get it anywhere, online, so I don't really online, care. It's I not worth the hassle. Care. It's not worth the hassle. But um, I'll but, definitely look and see. But, um, I'll definitely look and see. You know, keep an eye out for a decent price on a decent TV, decent but decent it's not TV, something that's it's super high on my priority list. Super high on my priority Have you guys found any found deals any for PlayStation deals Plus? For PlayStation Plus? Nope, not yet. Nope. No, right. I haven't found any at all. I'm expecting to find them like closer, either if not. The weekend after Black Black Friday, probably closer to Christmas. Yeah, because I need to extend mine. Yeah, I'd... yeah. Except Ryder, he's he's clear until 2050. I'm, I'm <laughs> clear 2017. I picked it up, uh, picked it up for 29, uh, and then they had like uh, they had three months for something, months and I picked that up to you. So, and I already had time to get in this. So yeah, I'm I'm all set for a little while. Set for a little while. So uh, apparently, so, I'm the only uh, one actually doing the uh, yearly resubscription for fifty bucks and not buying it for thirty bucks each time, half price. Well, I make it rain. Rich. Rich. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I make it rain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. They're, you're like here. Here's your one twenty extra dollars. But yeah, I need, I need some yeah, well, like, one month one for fifty dollars. Here you go. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anytime I see it like on a, a really like good price, I, I generally if it hits like thirty five bucks, I try to I try to grab it. Try to grab it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried about it because I I said it and forget it once. Uh, PS Plus was actually a thing. I enter my credit card in there, and it's automatically recurring, so I don't have to worry about it at all. Yeah. Fifty bucks, yeah. fine. Yeah, that's not yeah. something that's I'm not super something I'm super concerned with. Concerned. I just try to you know one up it. 
So, uh, a hack so, uh, group derp trolling has claimed to release a small portion of small usernames portion and passwords from the PSN, 4500 to be exact, and, uh, and uh, they're talking they're about, talking uh, about uh, companies, companies that need to better their security, better their security right? Security, uh, better, uh, so, what's so the rest of the story on this? Story on this? <coughs> so, uh, the hacking group, uh, the hacking group, Derp trolling. Yeah, I, I derp got that trolling. part. Yeah, I, I got so, that but part. there's been a more developing been story, been story, since story since then. Yes, about a few days after, um, about a few days after um, the company kind of warned companies to have better security because of this. To have better security because of this. Uh, Trend Micro Security being uh, fake. Uh, after looking through the list. And Sony also mentioned that it is fake. Uh, and, uh, shows and shows nothing, nothing uh, of a uh, breach recently. And okay. even uh, Spin uh, Micro said that it looks like um, breaches from like, the first one, the big one. Yeah, the, the so, they're pretty much they're pretty, pretty much dirt patrolling. Dirt patrolling. Was trolling. But um, but, but, yeah, it looks um, like the uh, like the uh, echo uh, is messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the question: uh, why, why do hacking groups uh, do this, and uh, why bother if eventually you could slip up and get caught? Attention. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's that's part of it. Um, but uh, you know, the the group that uh, we don't even know whatever happened with some of the other stuff with that group, but uh, the group that got caught. I mean, they they did some really dumb stuff after the fact, like, uh, you know, a bomb threat and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's, I, I think, part of its attention. But, um, you know, I, I do also wonder why they're claiming that they have all this data, which then they come along and say, no, that's that's old data. What are you, what are you guys talking about? So that was, that was kind of odd to me, but, eh. But, um, yeah, you're, you're, you got another question here. Hmm. Let's see. The other question was... Oh, uh, does this actually hurt the end user and not the company in general? Uh, usernames and passwords have to be set and all. Yeah, and that's that's my thing about DDoS attacks. Like, you're not actually hurting the company. I mean, yeah, you're hurting the company. They have to spend the time and the resources trying to stop you. But, I mean, you're really hurting the players. I mean... You know, the company's going to spend money, yeah, but, you know, the players are the people that can't play their game or whatever they decide to do. So, you know, it's, I really think you're hurting the consumer more than you're hurting the company in most cases on something like that. I mean, yeah, it doesn't, it does require passwords to be reset and all that, but at the end of the day, what does it really matter as long as, you know, Sony's not having some huge breach, like uh, you know, like when the PSN was down for that month or so. So, I mean, as long as they they're not having stuff like that and you know new information leaking out there, I I really don't think they're they're it's all that big of a deal to them. I mean, it's probably a PR nightmare because they have to put out fires all day. But I can just see the email boxes of their uh, PR people filling up once that uh something like that leaks. So um, it looks like Sony and Walmart had a little bit of a, well, not a run-in because they weren't directly involved, but uh, they had a kind of an odd thing happen with Walmart's price matching, uh, Ryder. All right, let's see. Um, the price matching. Uh, their, uh, Walmart's recent added price matching policy, similar to other stores, uh, whether online or not, and uh, and apparently, uh, customers had abused this by scamming cashiers to sell PS4s for $90 due to an Amazon 3P merchant that listed that price. Uh, because of the incident, though, uh, Walmart changed its price match uh, to only 30 major online stores, excluding merchants. Um, so, <laughs> did anyone take advantage of this opportunity uh, from our group? <laughs> 
Is oh, is Walmart that dumb to not notice a usually four hundred dollar item uh, is only being sold for less than three fourths of that price? Well, I'm gonna have to say that I don't think they were particularly being dumb. I think it's just that they have the they had that policy that they had that they had. If somebody has proof, then uh, whoever uh, they, they have proof that there's a cheaper price, they have to price match it. And I guess um, it wasn't as strict as they thought it was. I guess. You know, I guess they didn't realize that third-party people, you know, third-party um, sellers could um, fake or not fake, but make um, realistic-looking, um, 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 pretty much advertisements, and that's what pretty much happens. So a lot of people went in, and uh, went in a lot of people didn't even know at Walmart. Know, you know, Walmart. they're just regular employees, so they're <laughs> so they saw this and they're like, oh well, Amazon has it for ninety dollars. Well, we have to price match it because that's policy of the company. And when they went to the manager, when they more likely the manager's like, well, oh well, we have to do it. And you know, and they did that, you know, and they got cheated out of a lot of money. But no, I don't think they were just being dumb. It's just that the, the, you know, their policy wasn't as strict. Now they have, you know, now they made it strict, and now they know which, um, which stores, which um, store places uh, they should take uh, as legit, you know. And that's fine, you know. Like my sister, she works there at Walmart, and they and they they told her, you know, about that, you know, what was going on, and they it was fixed right away. It was like within a few hours, a lot of people weren't able to do that anymore because they found out right away. It wasn't like they were dumb and people were emptying, you know, entire Walmart stores all over the country, but they did so a lot of them, and it, it, you know, too bad for Walmart, but you know they could afford it, to be honest, and all the people. Got a ninety dollar PS4, so eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking pretty sure the Walk family can afford a couple of hundred million dollar loss. <laughs> I mean, really? Well, yeah, but those people were probably turning around and selling the systems. Is what got me. True. I mean, True. it's not like they actually wanted to probably play the system. I mean, I'm not saying they all didn't. There's probably some out there that actually took it home and opened it up and played it, but. You would venture to guess that a lot of them are going back and selling it for, you know, 300 bucks or whatever. So yeah. that's just kind of an annoyance oh. there. But well, um, I wouldn't blame them. I mean, they're taking advantage of a of a policy that wasn't really clarifying. Yeah, I mean, right. yeah, we'll price match something that you post that's posted on the Internet. There you go. And then when it comes out that, hey, there's a workaround where you can get it for less. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's something that, I mean, it happens. That's how loopholes get closed and stuff so it's okay yeah and i mean you know it's uh it's one of those deals where um I, i'm not i don't really fault walmart employees for price matching it but i do fault their policy in the first place for not taking into account like third-party merchants and all that because i mean that's pretty standard boilerplate stuff for most of the uh the online price matches out now um that was kind of that was what surprised me honestly because used to like you had to have the ad and if it wasn't in the ad they would like call the store or whatever i remember back uh you know when they had it so you had to you know they had to they had to actually call the store and all this other stuff so they don't do that anymore they don't yes. no they just see the ad and they price match it right there and there. yeah i was saying if you have an ad but i mean like gamestop wouldn't have an actual paper ad they would have yeah they like, have, the, like, flash like a paper ad that comes in a sunday paper or something yeah they wouldn't have that and so, like, they would have, like, I remember, the only time I remember really this uh, affecting it was, like, uh, it was, like, Wave Race or something like that on the GameCube. And they had it on sale for, like, 20 bucks or 30 bucks or something, and Walmart still had it listed for 50 And so, like, they had to actually call the store and um, and get it price matched that way, just like they were a normal normal person asking for a price. Yeah, they, they're now saying it has to be in stock and it has to be an official like Amazon or whatever other list of sites they have. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense. So, uh, Take Two is talking about gaming and VR. Ryder, what do they have to say? <clears throat> uh, take Two has stated that uh, gaming isn't ready for VR. And when asked, he stated, not yet. Part of it is. We need to see how the headsets roll out and how we can best deliver an experience. We are concerned that you'll play our games for a long period of time. We don't want people getting nauseated. And also, having had the experience, I'm not sure how long you want an immersive headset on your head. 
we'll find out. And then I'll say this. If that's what consumers want, we'll be the first in line to give it to them. And, and he also uh, uh, added by saying, um, uh, we see no reason to innovate in terms of business models. We prefer to be a fast follower. Uh, no one else can make our intellectual property. Only we can. And I'm happy to have other people spend loads of dough on R&D. In this case, it would be <laughs> Sony's, Sony's VR and everything like that. Yeah, we're really, so, um, um, at um, yeah, the Yeah, the And So um, do, do you think we're ready for VR to be accepted by mainstream gamers? Or are we a generation or two away from such a reality? Ooh, interesting question. I think that we're at least a generation away, or at least um, game-wise, because I think there's a. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are a lot of the games would look good in VR or play good in VR. I think we. Uh, what needs to happen is VR and games need to be developed um, next to each other. You know, um, um, with each other. You know, instead of you know releasing games and then coming up with VR or releasing VR out there and then releasing games, I think they need to be developed together and that's what um, needs to happen. Right now, that's not happening. Right now, there's, you know, they're testing here and there, you know. Some developers don't even have it yet, you know. Some developers do have, you know, VR. Other people are not, in other developers are not interested, so I don't think we're there yet, so. Um, but do we, do I think we'll get there, yeah. I think, um, I, I, and, and, and then, VR itself has to uh, um, advance as well in technology and, and lower in price as well because in order to get that consumer, <clears throat> it, it needs to come out in a, in a cheap fashion. Otherwise, a lot of people are not going to buy it. They're going to see like another accessory, you know, like your PlayStation Eye, your, your you know, your well, PlayStation Camera now or your, your PlayStation Move Controller. And a lot of people are not into those things. They see it more as a... You know, more for the casual audience rather than the gamer, or more for the um, f uh, more for other things rather than actual serious gaming. So, if the games start de um, being developed with VR in mind, and then yeah, I think in, and you know, then I think yeah, VR will be accepted by the you know gaming community. If you know, if they're just developing games and VR just an add-on, it's gonna stay like that, an add-on, and no, I don't think gamers are gonna accept it. Yeah, I mean, well, first up, he's talking about letting other people spend lots of dough on R and D. I mean, can you really blame them? Uh, <laughs> no, absolutely I mean, not. <laughs> you have to be hit on the head in the, with the hammer to not want to let other people do that. I mean, what exactly. does QK care? It's it's not like they have a console or anything. So, if uh, face, I, Facebook I and Sony want to spend all that money on that. Go ahead. Exactly. I mean. It's like, you know, why are you even asking me this question? <laughs> yeah. But, well, uh, I really think the biggest issue is not so much the development of the games, because they're pretty much there. I mean, most of the uh, most of the single developers that are just toying around with it, they're just building little small plugins that plug into older PC games like Quake and Unreal Tournament, and they're playing very well. It's more to do with the actual, I guess, for me, anyway, the resolution of the screen, because okay. they're, they're right now, they're barely getting a 1080p screen uh, in 3D on that on that display. Um, yeah. and you got to run a pretty powerful PC to even run the Oculus Rift itself. If you got to put that on the console, you're going to have to give up some graphical fidelity, at least, at least in the background. Yeah, and because you need, but you still need that pers that uh, depth perception. Because a lot of a lot of problems with the people that actually use it, they're getting they're getting nauseous. They're getting oh my god! But it's funny seeing uh, the people who get really into it and they're freaking out on so, the little roller coaster demo. So this <laughs> nauseous thing is really a problem then. Yeah, for some people it is because they don't they don't, they're the spatial awareness. I guess I okay. guess you would say. It's not, it's not translating well with what they're seeing on the screen. Hmm. Interesting. I can understand it. I mean, I can't game and in while well, in a car, I get motion sickness. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. I I can't read a book. I can't watch you know a movie on my phone. I I just exactly. <laughs> I just I just go right to bed. I just pass out. 
exactly <laughs> yeah see i i don't have that problem like i can read i can game i can do whatever i want to on a car or train or whatever so i would be curious if i would have that issue i'm my eyes are not very good at seeing the 3d the fact though so i'm i'm curious of how that would all work out for me in that case uh if they're really focusing on the 3d aspect as well um i'm guessing you know obviously though if they're not really focusing on the 3d as much um then that would definitely greatly reduce your uh your need for you know power as much because i mean you don't have to display the same thing twice mm -hmm. that would definitely help it out um so it's true um but yeah i well, like i know um we had uh well go ahead well with morpheus um that it's automatically 3d so i don't know if you could turn it on or off but i just know it's it's already there so Hmm. I wonder what it's running in then. Interesting. But I actually, I actually think, I mean, what we see in this generation, it, it's very, very possible. I mean, we're only a year into the PS4 and Xbox One generation, so we'll likely see it maybe at year four-ish. We'll actually see something that we can actually use use it with. Um, biggest thing for everybody is going to be price. That yeah. thing, I mean, 